Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is a mixed bag of exam DP test questions. Round 5, question 3. And this is tension in cables. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. Let's get straight into it. Our question states, The supports of a suspension bridge are 36 meters apart. So, X total is 36 meters are at the same level the sag of the cable is 3 meters so the sag is 3 meters the roadway has a total weight of 3024 kilonewtons so weight of road equals 3,024 kilonewtons. We always have our values to the right and then we do our working out on the left. And all our answers and all our answers will be on the left hand side. Because each answer goes into the next, goes into the next, goes into the next sum. Okay, here is a basic picture for the cable so from there to there is D Y1 and X total and there's X total between everything and so on and so forth Y1 equals Y2, so that's Y2, they're all equal. Okay, now the question goes, we're looking for the weight of the me per meter carried by each of the two main cables. So, weight of the cable is equal to the weight of the road divided by 2 times xt, so the length of each cable. So, so we have 3, the weight of the road, over 2 times 36, which equals 42 kilonewtons per meter. This is the weight of the cable on each cable. That is the weight per meter. So actually, this is both cables together. The weight of both cables together. If you have one cable, it would be 21 kilonewtons per meter. If you had both, if you had one cable. So weight or weight total, I would say, is 42 kilonewtons per meter. Weight 1 is equal to 21 kilonewtons per meter. And I would halve this. X1 is 18 meters. That will become relevant when you see the next part. Because they will ask us the minimum and maximum tension in each cable. So, now we have to deal with one cable, and that's where these two come in. So, now what we're going to do is put our formula in. FH is equal to WX squared over 2D. So, 
W is 42 times 10 to the 3 times 18 because this is one cable times 2 times 3. You put this all in your calculator and we are left with 2268 kilonewtons. So, FH is 2268 kilonewtons. So, next part. Next part is F. V. F V is equal to W X. Now this is the weight one X one. So weight one X one. As I've written it here. So twenty one times ten to the three times eighteen. is three seven eight kilonewtons. So F V is three seven eight kilonewtons. So F T is equal to the root of F H plus FV squared. These are both squared. And now we are left with 2268 squared plus 378 squared. And the root of. And we are left with 2, 2, Nine nine comma two eight four kilonewtons. So this is the force on each cable. Is that the minimum and maximum tension in each cable? So now F T is two two nine nine comma Two, eight, four kilonewtons. Now, what we are going to do is do number three. The diameter required for the cable if the ultimate tensile stress for the material is limited to 320 megapascals. Use a factor of safety of eight. Okay, so we want. So first of all, we need the stress in the cable. So how to get the stress in the cable is we take stress is equal to stress ultimate over factor of safety. Okay, now we have our ultimate stress which is 3. 20 over 8, which is 40 mega pascals. That is the stress. So our stress is 40 mega pascals. So, what we do now is we take, now we want to work out the area of each cable. So area, area equals force over stress. So our maximum force is this, so it is area equals 2299,284 over 
40 times 10 to the 6 equals 57 comma 482 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. So that's the area of the cable. So the area of the cable is 57 comma 482 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. Now, what we're going to do is now that we have area, we can work out diameter. And our diameter, to work it out, it has a formula for us. Diameter is equal to the root of 4 over area divided by pi. So, what we have here is four times fifty seven comma four eight two divided by pi. And our answer will be in diameter, and our answer is twenty seven comma one millimeters. Twenty seven comma one millimeters. Okay. Next question. The tension in the cable ten meters from the support measured horizontally. So what they want is the tension in the cable measured 10 meters. So we need x2 which is 18 minus 10 which equals 8 meters. So x2 equals 8 meters. Now we need fv2 which is w x2. So this will be 21 times 10 to the 3 times 8. And that is 168 kilonewtons. F V2 168 kilonewtons. Right, so F T two equals the root of F H squared plus F V two squared. And then we, after this we have solved it. Equals Two, two, six, eight, plus one, six, eight, all squared, and take the root thereof, and this will equal two, two, seven, four, comma, two, one, four, killer newtons. And that is the final question. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.